Are you interested in Abbey Road 2? Today, let's see what's inside Abbey Road 2 iconic strings and decide whether you need it or not. I'll quickly show you the overview of this product and deeply check legato patches. It's difficult to make small ensemble libraries because they need details, especially legato is important. So today I'm demonstrating slot legato and runs. I hope you'd find it useful to judge the quality of the product. By the way, Spitfire Audio kindly gave me three of their new products. Today's Abbey Road 2 Core and two of the new SA Recordings libraries. I'll review the rest of them in another video. I have reviewed so many interesting libraries, so check them out later if you compose cinematic music. Now, let's begin with the quick overview, but you can skip to the legato test using the timestamp in the description. By the way, I'm using the core version of Abbey Road 2. You can use more microphones and port mental legato in the pro version. Abbey Road 2 Iconic Strings is a string quintet library. It's rare, right? Do you know any other quintet library? Let me know in the comments. And the most important thing is that it's recorded at Abbey Road Studio 2, it's obvious. It's a legendary recording space and the mics, gears, and engineers are extremely special. You can use the vintage sounds in the vintage mic mixes. It also includes Abbey Road's signature plate reverbs and chamber reverb. You know, put the speaker and catch the sounds on the other side of the room. Each instrument has standard articulations, but it doesn't have consolidino arts, so I guess they're adding like Abbey Road Studio One. At last, the GUI is pretty beautiful, simple, clean, and self-explanatory. I love it. They added Arranger to the ensemble patches, but I don't use it. Finally, it's time to test the legato patches. Here's the context. I use Mix1 mic, no reverb, slot legato for legato tests, and performance legato for runs tests. The original sounds are panned widely, so I slightly pan them towards the center so they won't hurt your ears. So now I'll stop talking and see you at the end of this video.
So do you think this is the best solo string library? Of course, I only demonstrated legato patches, but what do you feel compared to your favorite libraries? Let me know in the comments. And please hit like and subscribe to see brief reviews and tutorials. My videos are short because I don't want you to waste your time on watching tedious videos. Instead, watch mine and save your time for your music production. For example, watch this to see 5 of the best libraries. Thank you for watching. See you in that video. If you can dream it, you can create it.